Hello and welcome everybody to a loadout video and this one is about our plucky champion in paladins and quite literally because he plucks people out of the air with his hook or anchor I suppose and that is Makoa. Now today I'm not actually focusing on the hook or the anchor which with the pluck legendary card most people pick up to play with and build around as it gives 80% bonus damage on the first shot after hitting the dredge anchor. It basically means that on some of the squisher champions and just in general when you drag them in you have much more of a chance to kill them once you drag them over even just on your own. It sort of brings you closer to what Roadhog is in Overwatch with their hook almost killing heroes when they drag them in instantly especially the squishy ones. Now today I'm talking about his half shell and this ability allows you to put the shield down on the ground instead of having to channel it and walk around and one card build in particular it's actually been in a few videos I've already seen from some other YouTubers and also on Reddit a few times just about this build and how powerful it is at the moment. And I haven't played that much Mokara recently but I did try it out a couple of times and I have to agree, especially in casual games, this build can be pretty insane. And this build is the reset build, the shield reset build. Basically this loadout will mean you'll put down your shield and if an enemy decides to attack it, it will almost completely reset your shield to use it again so you'll always have your shield up. Or if they don't decide to attack it, then you have a shield there and you can get on with your merry business without having any hassle. So sounds fantastic you may think. Well how does it actually work? Let's have a look at the loadout I've currently got which is just called shield reset loadout. If people want to get this loadout themselves you can just search Joshino when you go to import, import by name, put in Joshino and it's my very last loadout in the bottom right called shield reset. And this is it here. And the main card that it revolves around is Barrier Reef and getting to this to level 4. So for every 3000 damage absorbed it reduces the cooldown of Shell Shield by 4 seconds. And also in combination with the Ancient Resolve 4 and this increases the duration of your shield by 2 seconds. Now that shield is being placed on the ground, you're able to fight whilst it's down so you are going to be a threat to your enemies whilst you're in that shield and moving around the shield whilst also shielding your allies so it's in the enemy's best interest to take it down and with this barrier reef card if the enemy do decide to try and destroy the shield what will happen is that in total normally the shield has 6000 health so if they completely destroy the shield then the cooldown will be reduced by 8 seconds with this loadout. And base is a 16 second cooldown on the shield itself and increasing the duration of your shield by 2 seconds in this Ancient Resolve basically means that there's more likelihood of the shield being destroyed but also that there's more time to take damage but that they'll be let 2 seconds off of that cooldown as well because that's basically reducing the cooldown of your shield by it being up as long as possible. So worst case scenario nobody shoots at that shield you have an 8 second cooldown for the next shield to come back up again which isn't big in of itself which you can reduce with Kronos as well from the item shop. Another not great situation is they take out your shield instantly so that extra 2 seconds from ancient resolve doesn't go off well then again you've got an 8 second cooldown for the shield to come back up again. Those are both the worst case scenarios and sure you can get bursted down in those 8 seconds but most of the time you can dip, dive and dodge and survive your way through that and, on, and most of the time that doesn't happen. Now just quickly to talk about the rest of the loadout, personally I think that salvage and strong arm, so salvage gives you one ammo when you hit an enemy with your dredge anchor which gives you a shot to fire at them when you drag them in is kind of important isn't as important with this build but also strong arm reducing the dredge anchors cooldown is quite important because dredge anchor is still one of the most important abilities that Makawa has. There is a card called Tidal Grace that you can heal yourself whilst the shield is down and having this extra duration to 8 seconds could help and it could keep yourself up more. And also I've got Surf 1 here, Shell Spin, increasing the distance of Shell Spin just if you do need to get out. But that one can be interchanged pretty easily, like something, you can put something in there more to your preference. But those two cards, Barrier Reef and Ancient Resolve, are the two that are integral to this. How does it work out in game then? Well, currently, in the casual matches I've played, there have been some people very wise to the fact that I had this loadout. And for example, I was playing against the Knesset and they didn't want to shoot at the shield at all. But unfortunately, on their team, the 
Obviously the communication or the message didn't get across because the Drogos was just getting, going ham on that shield. Just blasting in there, cell roaring it, trying to take it down as fast as possible. And just that one Drogos was able to pretty much give me another shield straight away. I think that with more exposure and maybe after this video, people will get a bit more wise to it. And we might have Makoa's being left out in the dark and in the open without having their shield cooldown because of people knowing about this loadout and people being more aware of it but it only takes that one guy to go full tilt and blasting into that shield to reset it straight away just some tips when you're playing Makoa you don't always have to stand on the point and I think that you can get into the mindset of well I've got the shield so I'll always just keep the shield on the point and keep everyone safe but sometimes pushing up and covering choke points that lead onto the point can be as good as being on the point itself and just leaving a healer on the point because if you think about it you can still shield people with that bubble shield and the healers behind you are still safe I mean if it lines up and if it's a line of sight but you can knock off people off their horses and not give them a chance to touch the payload or the siege point and slow it down or try and go into overtime in that siege mode and I said twice in the coaching videos I did when I was watching Makoa that they were sitting on the point for no real reason for quite a lot of the time and being active as a Makoa is quite important especially when you've got your ultimate up because it can basically just heal you straight up and you've got so much survivability with your shield and being so aggressive a bit closer to the front line and the and pulling enemies in and basically just disrupting them and not letting them get anywhere near that point with being able to put the shield down on the ground and having it up pretty much all of the time if the enemy team are pretty careless you can basically just jump and dive in and out of the shield and the reason why i didn't have the, the heal card in my deck is because I don't really take all that much damage when I'm playing as this shield reset Makoa as I'm able to just dip and dive between the shields and don't be afraid to go outside of your bubble and go around the backside because you're still covered even at the back. One of the things is that if an enemy team wants to take you out they have to come into your shield and all the time that they're trying to take you on and fight you they are reducing the cooldown of your next shield to go down and you can basically do the same thing. Another reason why this loadout is so good is because it gives you the chance to fight whilst your shield is down and the pluck card whilst it gives you 80% on the first hit and can some of the squishier champions you can burst them down pretty much instantly as long as one other person on your team sees them or they don't have their escape to jump out straight away you can pretty much get a guaranteed kill but here whilst you're in your shield and you're not taking damage and enemies are trying to come inside you can be doing as much damage as that 80% where as if you didn't have the shield placed down you'd be walking around in your shield not being able to do any damage as normally it's a channeled ability. I think all you can say to teams going up against this Makoa is trying to separate the Makoa from their team, try and kill the healers, try and kill all the squishier champions that are going around the Makoa. But there's just a dilemma with this loadout because if you destroy the shield, it'll be back up again. And if you ignore it, then while well, it's doing its work, it's stopping the damage from going through and you might have to leave that Makara alone to wreak havoc and also to their allies to wreak havoc whilst they're in the shield. I do think perhaps high res will rein this loadout in probably in the next patch or maybe even a hotfix at some point because this is quite ridiculous and, and Makara at least in the casual matches seems to be extremely strong because this works just so well. Again if you want to take my loadout and want to tweak it maybe you want to change the surf and a few of the other cards around but uh, just keep the Barrier Reef and the Ancient Resolve together. Just import my loadout from Name and Joshino. Anyway, what does everyone else think of this? Have, has anyone else been trying it out? Has anyone been having fun with it? Does anyone think it's ridiculous and should be nerfed? Or does anyone have any other ideas of how they could tweak this and make it legitimate, but maybe not so ridiculously powerful? Be sure to let me know in that comments section below. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe for more of my content. I'll see you all next time. I've been Joshino.